Hello everyone, my name is Shen. Oh, say hello, Skull. Hi, my name is Skull. <laughs> so, my name is Shen, and I'm, today I'm going to tell you all about the human brain. Let me show you the model of my brain, of the brain. If there's not my fingers, the brain will, the brain will appear. Okay. So this is the brain. This is not the real live brain. This, this is the model of the brain that I just made. So there are three parts of the brain. This, there are the cerebrum, the cerebellum, and the brainstem. So let me tell you about something. See skull, and hear the rattle. Let me show you something. But before I show you something. Here's something I have to, you have to know. The brain, the skull protects the brain. The skull is the home. The, the skull is the home of the brain. The brain lives in the skull. And the skull protects the brain. Let me show you something. One, two, three. See the brain? That's why it rattled. So, look at these two brains. This one is smaller than this because the skull is too small. But, but in the original, but a adult, an adult brain can weigh about three pounds. Well, yes, it's true that it may weigh three pounds. And also, an a child, a child's. A child's brain may weigh less, may weigh less than, the, than, than the, than the adult's brain. Well, it might be, but it may be two pounds or one pound. Because, but, long time ago, in cave, in when cavemen are alive, are alive, they started eating meat. Then their brain grew. Grew bigger and bigger and bigger. The brain was so big that they can't eat more meat. Then they had to rest, and then their brains had more. Then their brains had more wrinkles. If you have more wrinkles, like Einstein, you can remember stuff and pay attention. And e and easily you can also play be and also you can remember things from your past. In the past, only the past, not the future, because you don't even see the future. Tomorrow is the future. So let me tell you something. The cerebrum is the biggest part of the brain. So see this pink stuff? This is the cerebrum. The cerebrum is divided in half. And the left side of the cerebrum controls the right side of the brain. Of the body, and the right side of the cerebrum controls the left side of the body. Pretty cool, huh? The cerebellum controls the movement parts of our body. The cerebr the cerebellum teach it helps us helps us to walk, run, jump, and even balance. And even the balance. Whoa. The the brainstem controls our parts, the parts that we can't even control, and automatically, well, when we want, when we order, when we order our brain to stop our heart, it won't stop. The brainstem keeps saying that it has to be blood flowed. Well, it can. It the brainstem only controls the part. Part that we cannot control. Those parts are called the involuntary functions. They are the heartbeat, the the blood flowing, the digesting food, and all, and also what? And also breathing. So. And also, all of the brain that we do all of every day is done by the brain. Even your brain works in day, and even when you sleep. 
Well, I hope you had lots of fun learning about the brain. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, and meet. Bye. And oh, I forgot something to tell you. Meet Skull's brother. Scholar. Yeah, His jaws always fell every time because he's made of rubber. Even his head, even this stuff, it always fell down. He has to be fixed one day. So, also, the messages can also come to the brain, too. And the brain is the boss. So, I hope you enjoy the time watching this video and learning more about the brain. And if you go to high school, you will learn more about the brain. Bye, I'll see you next time. Bye.